Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back. Today we are doing San Andreas Highway Patrol in LSPDFR. If you like this Ford Taurus, it's a part of a San Andreas Highway Patrol pack. You can find it linked down below in the description. Uh, but I hope you all are having a good Friday so far. Happy November 1st. I hope you also had a fun and exciting Halloween. Let me know what you did for Halloween in the comments down below. But today is November 1st, so there are officially two months left to get to 10,000 subscribers. Now, if you're new to my channel, feel free to hit subscribe because if I reach 10,000 by the end of 2024, I am giving away a free copy of GTA 6 in 2025. So please, subscribe and you will be in it to win it if I reach 10,000 subscribers. So here we are doing San Andreas Highway Patrol. We'll start up here in the Polito Bay region area and maybe actually drive through Polito Bay and uh, stick to the west side of San Andreas today. But you know, it's LSPDFR. We'll probably end up in uh, somewhere, who knows. One Adam Six, you could show me 10 But there's a lot of speculation, and uh, I actually have a few theories on when we might get more information regarding GTA 6. Now, I'm not here to to spread false information. I'm just speculating at this point. Um, so we all know Election Day is on November 5th. Uh, I, I don't think we're going to get anything before Election Day. Oh, whoa, dude. Okay. All right. I see you. You're getting pulled over right now, dude. First of all, you're driving in both lanes. Yeah, he's getting pulled over. Oh, yeah, I wanted to change my uh, lighting pattern, too. I'll do that after this traffic stop. Uh, but, yeah, I, I, I don't think we're going to get anything before Election Day. I think Election Day affects a lot of things. I mean, it affects the economy. So why wouldn't it affect, like, marketing and things like that? But... Take-Two Interactive, uh, Rockstar's parent company, has a earnings call on November 6th. That's the day after Election Day. And the day after the earnings call is when the PS5 Pro comes out. So I'm assuming we might get information on November 6th. It's after Election Day, so the election will no longer interfere with it. And if they announce something regarding GTA 6 on November 6th, and then the PS5 Pro comes out the next day, that's going to boost sales for the PS5 Pro. And we all know Rockstar and Sony have a just, they have a great relationship. So that's just my speculation. Let me know if you agree or disagree in the comments down below. But let's get to LSPDFR here. This guy uh, almost rear-ended us, and he was basically just driving in both lanes. So one Adam Six. Show me on a traffic stop, West U.S. Route 1, 1005. My voice cracked there for a second. <laughs> it happens, all right. Can I get a 28 on 41 Ocean Yellow Frank 696? Okay, yeah, it was an O. I, I'm making sure. I, I, think the, I, I think I got that down. The O's and zeros look similar, but the O's have a different uh, on the license plate. Uh, it says clear and valid, no active warrants. Lyra Mc McRoll. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make contact. Mm -hmm. Hey, Miss, how you doing? Uh, Trooper Hall with uh, San Andreas Highway Patrol. Reason for the stop is you almost rear-ended me back there, and you were driving in both lanes. Diva license, registration, proof of insurance. Oh man, I'm actually. What's that smell? I'm smelling. Uh, Thanks. Do you have uh, narcotics in the vehicle? I work 60 hours a week. I don't have time to be high. Okay. Well, I'm 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 asking you because I'm getting a strong odor of narcotics coming from your vehicle right now. My windows were rolled down like all day. Shit. All right. Well, sit tight for me. Okay. Yeah, she wants to give me a hard time. You work 60 hours a week. Cool. Well, probably uh, would be wise to get a canine unit out here just so we can make sure she's not 
you know, she was driving in both lanes. She almost rear-ended me. Uh, so it could be DUI, you know? So who knows? Let's go ahead and check her information here. Lyra McRoll, clear and valid, has some citations. Failure to secure load to vehicle. Okay. And the vehicle is also good. Let's get a canine out here. I mean, this could possibly really turn into a DUI. One Adam Six requesting K9 1005 on US Route 1. So the K9's on the way. And uh, we'll have him sniff around the vehicle. Let's go ahead and let her know. We'll have her sit in the vehicle. She'll stay in the vehicle. All right, Miss McRoll, here is your information back. So, like I said, I'm getting a strong odor of narcotics coming from your vehicle. And when you were almost, you almost rear ended me back there, and you're driving in both lanes. Um, you know, that just gives me suspicion of possible DUI. So I have a canine unit here. They're going to sniff around your vehicle. If he alerts, I'm going to ask you to step out and we will have probable cause to search the vehicle. Okay. Oh my God, I don't have time for this shit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's go ahead and uh, I also have a new call out pack. So hopefully we get a new call out um, from that pack here and we're able to showcase that uh okay yeah i'm there we go go ahead and uh, sniff around the vehicle here it's a black and color cavalcade however you want to say it cavalcade i guess cavalcade <laughs> i don't know If he doesn't alert, um, I might still do a field sobriety test, but he's definitely, yeah, he's alerting. Yep. Okay, well, let's get her out. All right, Miss McRoll, if you could step out of the vehicle for me right now, okay? So at this time, we do have probable cause to search your vehicle. Oh my god, the dog ran right into Rick Grimes over there. Um, Wait up! So if you want to follow me over here... Possible narcotic intoxication. Yep, palms are sweaty. Oh, shit. Sit tight for me, okay? So, yeah, we have probable cause to search your vehicle. Since the canine alerted. So, let's see. No? No drugs? So, it's it's gonna be on her. Alright. So, right now, I just want to conduct a field sobriety test because I have suspicion that you are DUI. Um... I mean, your pupils are super dilated right now. So right now we're gonna do a horizontal gaze test. Uh, basically what that is, I'm gonna hold a pen up to your face, gonna move it left and right. You follow the tip of that pen with your eyes only. And do not move your head, okay? So let's go ahead and begin. You're telling me you don't have time for this, like time to get high, you work 60 hours a week, but... Um, it's clear as day to me that you are high. So we're going to do one more. We're going to do a walk and turn, okay? So you're going to walk about 10 feet away from me and then walk back to me with one foot in front of the other. Uh, so go ahead and begin. So make sure it's a straight line. Yeah, no, she's uh, walking dead. She looks like a walker. You better go get her, Rick Grimes. <laughs> I love The Walking Dead, dude. I'm, I've watched every episode. Like, every Sunday, like, I've watched it. Like, every Sunday. Um, and I'm actually watching the Daryl Dixon show right now. I would love to do, like, reactions on this channel, but I don't want to get copyrights. I know, like, reaction channels don't get, like, monetized very well. They have a lot of copyright issues, and there's a lot of, like, loopholes you have to do to not get copyright strikes. Um, now, I'm definitely going to do, like, reaction reactions on like trailers like gta 6 trailers definitely um so yeah all right right now uh you you are being placed under arrest for a uh, suspicion arrest, you piece of crap. for suspicion of dui at this time i can't confirm it but based on what i uh observed you are definitely uh dui all right do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me stick me we'll just act like uh rick grimes has a body cam on and he's uh recording <laughs> A baggie of meth. 
that'll do it. That will do it, 100%. Uh, not to mention she had a handgun in the vehicle. Uh, so I need to double check her information to make sure. I think she did have, although she's still gonna get possession of a firearm and commission of a felony, which the felony is possession of methamphetamine. So yeah, right now you're being placed under arrest for uh, possession of methamphetamine. Um, you're telling me you don't have time to get high, but that's uh, super unfortunate. It's just personal use, though. That's legal, right? No, it's not legal. It, it uh, definitely not. It's it's methamphetamine. That is beyond unlawful. All right, right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you can't afford one, one will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah, I guess, but I'm going to be talking to my lawyer because this is nonsense. No, it's really not nonsense. You're DUI. You're driving under the influence, putting other lives at risk. Not only your life, but other lives at risk. You almost rear-ended me. Is she going to get in the car or not? Talk to your lawyer all you want, but... Uh, get the vehicle towed and out of here. It'll be impounded. Large flatbed truck is fine and dandy. And you guys are good to go. Gotta, like, go up to him and hold up on the D-pad. There we go. There we go. You guys have a good night. Stay safe. Let's go ahead and uh, check her information here. Um, double check. No, she does not have a gun permit. So, we need to check the weapons registration. The serial number. Uh, and see who it belongs to. Here. Uh, weapons serial check. Let's see what it comes back to be here. Oh, yeah, it is her gun. But, um, if she didn't have drugs on her, now we should do a drug swab test on her. Um, but there's no need. They can do that at the, uh, the station. Oh, yeah, I'm under citations here, so I did want to do operation, unsafe operation on road, highway, failure to maintain lane. So, so she's going to get those citations, arrest reports. First of all, possession of a firearm in commission of felony. And the felony is possession of methamphetamine. And she's getting DUI, narcotics, first offense. As simple as that. Do you need to, uh, need some room? <laughs> All right, we have a uh, prison transport on the way for her. You know, she decided to to ruin her life tonight. We're no longer gonna have uh, that job anymore, working 60 hours a week. Um, but who knows, some jobs are like, oh, well, you know what? Just, just come back when you get out. <laughs> you never know. I don't know if I've been able to showcase this. I'm prob I probably have. That's the new Blaine County Sheriff prison transport van. Super nice. All right, I'm gonna get in front of this uh, prison transport going like two miles per hour. Don't know why, but okay. <laughs> yeah, they. she decided to uh, almost rear-end us and uh, drive in both lanes back here or back there and would have been a nightmare if she uh, rear-ended me. That still is a nightmare. For her, at least. She's going to jail. <laughs> we got Walter White in front of us here. Leave your comments down below uh, what kind of drugs you think are inside that RV. I'm not going to stop him. I have no reason to stop him. But, you know, just out of curiosity, what do you think he has? Because I guarantee you, he does. He's got something in there. What the hell just happened? That black car rear end, uh... I think that black that car up here. I don't think it's black. I think it's green. Is it green? Oh, okay. Oh, no. Do we deal with a car that just rear a hit and run or prostitution? Are you literally going to do this in front of a cop right now? <laughs> yep. Okay. Getting stopped.
How stupid do you have to be, dude? You are meant, like, just not right mentally. Let's see if he stops. And uh, we'll probably get back up, to be honest. Okay. Oh my god, he almost hit those people. Oh yeah, we're getting back up. One Adam Six. Show me on a traffic stop, West Polito Boulevard, 1047. Can I get a 28 on 06 Victor Bravo George 175? Joe Collar, okay. One Adam Six requesting code to Polito Boulevard, 1047. All right, we have a code two backup in route here. Uh, let's go ahead and make initial contact. Oh, uh, why is she getting out? Ma'am? Ma'am? Sit floor, tight. Punk. Sit tight for me, ma'am. Get on the ground right now. All right, she's complying. That's good. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Oh, a, motor, a motor unit. That's pretty cool. Okay. Um, I don't know why you decided to step out of the vehicle. Uh, I had her at gunpoint because you never know. The last time we were doing Polito Bay Police Department, I think right down there. And uh, the chick got out and started shooting at us. Hey, man, do you have a license, registration, proof of insurance? Give love. So the reason I'm stopping you is because you picked up this prostitute. Thanks. Okay. Alexander Burroughs. So you're not even the owner of the vehicle. Great. Okay. I don't know if there's a question in here regarding uh, what he just did, but I don't think so. Okay. Sit tight for me. Okay. Um, Alexander Burroughs. It's clear and valid. The owner of the vehicle, clear and valid. Now, our prostitute here is also clear and valid and has no arrests. Okay. While we, we cannot confirm that it is prostitution, because we didn't actually see her or any anything happening or any money being transferred. So we don't have evidence of it. So... We'll probably just, um, we're going to check her. We're going to search her. And, uh, you know what? We're not, we're not even going to do that. We're not even going to do that. Okay. So here is your information back. Now, what you did up here pulling over, I'm, um, I'm probably going to give you a citation because mm -hmm. that was stupid. You almost hit people. Uh... Other than that, I don't have evidence that this was prostitution. Now, I, I know that it most likely was, okay? And I know you're probably going to deny it, but um, there's nothing much I can do about it. I can't take you to jail. I didn't see any ac like actual anything being done and any money being transferred, but yeah... Sit tight for me. Okay. As for you getting out of the vehicle, that's just definitely not cool. So, um, I am going to release your handcuffs at this time. Okay. I'm going to get, get a, a taxi out here for you. And the taxi's going to take you home. Okay? All right, your taxi's in route. And I want that taxi to take you home. All right? Nowhere else. Sit tight for me. I'm gonna write a citation. Uh, probably just unsafe operation. Or actually, maybe careless. Whoops. I canceled the stop instead. Okay, well. <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, 
Her taxi is over there, okay. Okay, I don't know why he went all around the hospital here, but okay. <laughs> Interesting. One out of six, code four, show me 10-8. Alright, well, we're code four, 10-8, back on patrol here. Uh, so, oh, whoa, dude, whoa! Can you pull over another state trooper? Because what the hell, dude? What are you doing, dude? So, I mean, we know what it was, right? Like, just from looking at it. We know 100%, but we don't have... Security assistance, okay. One Adam Six, show me in route. All right. Security officer in need of assistance. Responding here. Probably don't have to respond to code three, but. It's right up here. One Adam Six. Show me on scene, US Route One, one zero zero nine. Okay. One Adam Six All right, let's go ahead and uh, make contact here. And like I said, we we don't have evidence. We don't have true, solid evidence that was uh, prostitution. Realistically, we could have, in real life, probably could have followed them and, like, did, like, a sting operation, but, yeah. Hey, how's it going? Officer, this person has been taking pictures of our property. Please remove them immediately and trespass them. Okay. Let's talk to him, see what he has to say. Looks like a creep. Not gonna lie. I don't even know what he's talking about. I'm out for a jog. You're out for a jog? Wearing that? The suspect looks honest and calm. Okay. Okay, well, they obviously don't want you here on their property, so... Uh, do you have an ID on you? Get uh... Thanks. Possible alcohol intoxication. Have you, uh, been drinking? Alcoholic drinks are my favorite. Okay. Sit tight for me, uh, Mr. Adams. Let's go ahead and, uh, check his information here. Let's see here. Joe Adams, valid, no active warrants. It's gonna get an arrestable, uh, citation, trespassing. Um, I'm still undecided whether or not he's getting two arrestable citations so I guess we should arrest him uh realistically you don't some it, 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 you don't have to like arrest him but in this case he's got two he's got uh public intoxication and trespassing um like I, I can I, I'm gonna do a breathalyzer on him maybe I should have done that uh, before charging him but I can guarantee you Alright, if you could blow into this tube for me, okay? Yeah, drunk as a skunk. So right now you are being, uh... Placed under arrest for trespassing and public intoxication, okay? These are just minor, um... These are just minor, uh, arrestable, uh, offenses. And they're not... It's not a felony. Alright, so... Unless, of course, now we have to search him, and if he has something illegal on him, that's gonna, you know... You have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me? Stolen items. Uh-oh. Uh, do these, uh, items belong to you? No, I don't have a way to... determine, like, the call-out. It's pretty... I, there's no other, like, there's no other dialogue. So, I'm gonna ask Siri, heads or tails? Um, heads is yes, tails is no. <laughs> heads or tails? It's heads. Alright, it's heads. I don't know if you heard that, but it's heads. So, that means the items are 
<laughs> for roleplay sake. It's like Dungeons and Dragons, like rolling the dice, right? Um, yeah, so, okay, yeah, these are your items. So now you ain't gonna get stolen property. Right now you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say or do can and will be held against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney if you can't afford one. One will be appointed to you by the state of San Andreas. You understand these rights? Yeah, man, but I, I swear, I was out for a jog, uh, and... I was out for a jog, and I, I I was just running, dude. I was out for a jog. Okay, you, you've said that uh, too many times. Just get in the car. We'll just uh, RP yeah. it that, uh, you know, the items are back, so he's not going to get charged with stolen property. Because they would be a felony. Okay, dude, you parked down there. Make it make sense. One Adam Six, code four, show me ten eight. All right, we're code four, back 10 eight here. Go ahead and head out and get back on patrol, see what else San Andreas has in store for us today. Dude, do not walk in, out in the highway. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Oh my God. Well, it gives us time to, uh, to get out. <laughs> He's jaywalking, but it is what it is. Oh, possible felony up here or warrant. I don't know what vehicle it is. Oh, it timed out. Whenever it pings like another one, it's it's like timed out. Um, I don't I don't even know what vehicle it is now. That sucks. And they they always ping going the opposite direction. There's no way to get to them. Oh shit! One Adam Six, you could show me in route. Copy that. We're moving right now. Alright. I'm gonna turn around right here. Got a pursuit in progress up here. There it is right there. Basically, have to go back uh, where we came from. Oh my God! All those bunny rabbits. Oh my goodness. All right, here they are. Uh, vehicle appears to be occupied. Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! Shots fired! They're all on foot. Oh my god, Insta Pop. Oh, now they're running. They're armed and dangerous. All on foot. Suspects are armed and dangerous. Requesting air support. Oh my god, dude. We need air support involved. Oh, come on, dude. Get up here. Oh, they're down here. Ah, oh, come on, dude. Come on. Gonna get tased. Right there, we got one. It is that serious. Shots fired at us, dude. Alright. Thought I saw blood on the ground. We need more backup involved. Uh, noose SWAT team. You have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me? I, I don't even know who was driving. Few tablet. Shots fired again. Shots fired. Shots fired. Uh, get person transport for him. You guys want to stand with him? Massive shots fired down here. Shots are being continued. Uh, it looks like they're gonna be heading into the Cluck and Bell Farms. She's got a gun. There was nothing we could do. Suspect down. Yeah. Suspect down. Gonna retrieve the weapon here. Shots continuing to be fired. Uh, I think we have two individuals crossing into the or over 
the Cluckenbell Farms area. We're requesting medical services, US Route 1. Uh oh, did LSPDFR crash? I think it did. Sometimes it freezes. It crashed. You got we got that uh, fatality alert. Yep. Uh, well, that sucks. I guess that will do it for this episode of LSPDFR. Um, it looks like two suspects were killed. One was apprehended. I can't, or two apprehended, one killed. Uh, interesting. LSPDFR crashed. That sucks. But that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit like and subscribe. Another huge milestone is that this episode is my 1,000th video on YouTube. Um, a lot of people don't count YouTube shorts, but I do. YouTube counts them. So if you look at my total view, like video count, it's going to be 1,000. So that's a huge milestone. Our next milestone is getting to 10 thousand subscribers if i can reach that goal by 11 59 p.m eastern time on december 31st i am giving away a free copy of gta 6 in 2025 or whenever rockstar decides to release it fingers crossed it's still 2025 right um but please hit subscribe if you're new here and you will be in it to win it but yeah uh hopefully you enjoyed hopefully you had an amazing halloween let's make a make november great as well let's have a good thanksgiving hopefully we get more gta 6 information and i will see you guys next time take care